Hi guys, this is Johnny Boy, and I'm here to talk about uh, my croaker and spot rig. Um, it's a fairly fun fish to, to catch, and I had a blast catching them the past few days. Three days straight catching them. It's pretty awesome, you know. So here, I'm going to talk to you about my rig. First, I have a rod. This rod is a, it's a medium heavy medium heavy this is an ugly stick intercoastal I don't know if you can find any of these more any more of these rods I think I got this at Walmart I'm not sure maybe Walmart has it and this is probably a good sturdy reliable rod I mean it can handle really big fish and it won't really snap because this is only is a one piece this is a six foot six so it's not too long but not too short at the same time since I'm fishing on a jetty I don't need to throw that far and maybe if I have any wind advantage I would probably throw with the wind this is a bait casting rod so this is the bait casting reel this is a quantum iron Quantum Iron IR-130C I don't think they make these no more But I guess you can Look it up online and see if you can find one I think they have one that's silver and one that's gold And this is It's very very tough and, You know I dunked this in salt water many times And you know it hasn't failed me yet Although it has a lot of scratches on it But you don't have to worry about that. It works perfectly. So my rig, I use a standard high-low rig, so it's easy. So my rig is this is just a this is just a standard loop knot. To make that, all you do is just take two ends, put it together, and then you make a circle make a circle and then you pull it to get it as small as you can and go through the hole and that is your loop knot I have one on the bottom here so I use a pyramid one and a half one and a half works really well it holds and it's not really that heavy so you're pretty much working without so much weight and I have I have eagle claw hooks. This is number four. It's small enough to catch any smaller croakers or spot. And I like to catch spot and croaker, so I go a little bit light on the um or small on the hooks. So I grab one out. These are pre-made, so you don't you can make them if you want, but I like them pre-made because I lose a lot of rigs out there. All you do is just thread it through that loop and go right back through standard loop. It'll cinch up, and that is your that is your rig. Now you you can make it a high low rig as well. You put one more you can put one more hook somewhere up here, and it'll probably hang probably right around here. That's what I was using a couple days ago, and I got a lot of doubles, double croaker, double spot. Really fun, you know. Fun to get out, catch some fish. You know, that's what I love to do. I don't really care if I eat them or not. Just like to catch them, and even if I do take some home, I do give some away to my neighbors or a couple of friends of mine. They don't really have access to fishing, or they don't go a lot, so that's a good thing. So that's basically our rig. Now, um, the other day I was using, I was, well, I was doing a field test to see which which works better, you know, real or fake. I've been using fish bites, bloodworms, and I gotta tell you, it's, it's 
it's actually pretty effective. I think they were most likely 50-50. Fish, fish were caught, half the fish were caught on fish bites and half the fish were caught on real blood worms. So, this is a good alternative if you don't want to spend 12 bucks on real blood worms or you, you don't want to get dirty. Simply just open it. Grab out, it looks like a piece of gum, shoe leather. All you do is, um, you, all you do is you just cut it into, cut it into small, small little cubes. Cut it into small little cubes. So that's ba basically it. All you do is just hook it in. All you do is just hook it into the middle and just leave it like that. Right where the right where the curve is at, you leave it like that. It works pretty well. So that's basically it about uh, what bridges I'm using, what rod I'm using, and you know, hope he's, I hope I see you guys out there, and or maybe I'll fish with you. Never know. So good luck out there. I'll see you later.